one NCAA qualifier as a Cal State Fullerton wrestler. He is a former two-time UFC Bantamweight champion. He is Tyler Jeffrey Dillashaw, and he is ready to add to his legacy here tonight. And for all those wrestling accomplishments, he doesn't even need to use it. He's become a great striker under Dwayne Ludwig, a guy that can beat you with kicks, a guy that can beat you with the boxing, and the footwork is something that we haven't seen in the UFC for a very long time. T.J. Dillashaw is one of the greatest bantamweights of all time. And he is truly in his element on fight night. Absolutely loves the bright lights and everything that fight night entails. Another big spot for Dillashaw here tonight. T.J. Dillashaw. And he finds himself in another big spot here tonight. Well, you could argue his kickboxing is as good as anyone's in this division, but this is a mixed martial arts fight. You gotta think that a lot of people in this division are gonna try to put him on his ass. Well, you have to. If you're standing with this guy, if you're stuck on your feet fighting this man, you're constantly in trouble. So you've gotta give him mixed looks. But I'm gonna tell you, he has been very impressive in this regard. He has shown an ability to stay upright, defend takedowns just enough to give himself a chance. And because of that, he has had a lot of success at the start of his UFC career. And he's brought in a lot of fans from the kickboxing world. So let's see if he can produce for all the masses watching around the world tonight. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. And now our tail of the tape for this flyweight tilt. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Muff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, TJ Dillashaw! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Let's do it. Well, with no shortage of momentum, here's the UFC Bantamweight champion, TJ Dillashaw. His striking has gone to a completely different level under Dwayne Bang Ludwig, training at elevation there in Colorado. TJ Dillashaw, three-time NCAA qualifier as a wrestler in college, but known primarily as a striker since crossing over to mixed martial arts. All right, so there it is, the leg kick from Kai Kata France. He figured to have a striking advantage tonight. So far, so good. Everything starts with the leg kick. It's a lot of the game plan of the City Kickboxers team. They build reads off of your reactions. And Kai Kata France right now is trying to gain the recipe for what going to lead to success tonight. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, good block there. Dillashaw gets caught, and it's another straight punch. He has had no answer for that weapon tonight. Leads with the right punch. Oh, he's got him over here. Oh, big elbow. Oh, nice right hand. Straight right is there. Oh, you gotta love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on full display. No, he said he was gonna take it to this guy that is exactly what he's doing as we start this fight. Big shot to the body. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin made his chin 
touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook. Pivoted off the right hand. Big left hook lands. What a great punch. Back mount now. Midway through round one. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Dillashaw's cut above the eye and that blood figures to start to trickle down. Could compromise his vision here moving forward. Solid takedown for him right there. And now he's got the back. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Takedown defense is there. Dillashaw's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Oh, wow. Oh, oh that gilly is tight. Effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Dillashaw. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, he was setting up the hooks early and often tonight. Watch for him to try to set it up again here. Bang, Muay Thai on full display here. Dillashaw, a really good flow here, DC. Takedown defense holds up. Well, so we predicted he'd go back to that hook, and he did. This time, the opponent was ready. You see him put himself into the half guard. Like to control, yep. Mm, nice. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Kata France is back in side control here. Ground and pound strikes continue. Nice elbow there from the top. A lot of times you can punch him from the top, but landing elbows is what will allow you to cut people over. Beautiful ground and pound, and that will cut him. Oh, big elbow. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Right. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the round mercifully comes to an end, and you hear the oohs and ahs from the crowd as they look at the big screen and the cut on that forehead. That has gotten really, really bad. They might even call in the doctor here. I can assure you, if this cut gets any worse, they are going to stop this fight. All right, we got a few clips for you, DC, of all the damage doled out in that round and his eye continuing to be the main target. I mean, he's getting hammered. He is getting hit in that spot over and over again. And because of that, his opponent has gained in confidence and he is very limited in what he can do in his approach because safety has to be first now. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Nice punch there by Dillashaw. Shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Knee to the body. Oh! All right, so there it is again, the leg kick from Kata Franz. He has a lot of the This is big. That's big. Big right hand. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Big inside kick. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. 
Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, stuffs the takedown. Big right hand there. Oh! Oh, you can hear the crowd reaction every time he lands another hook. The previous round, it was hooks and bunches. More of the same here. More of the same, John. You watch a guy who's in a flow, who's in a rhythm, who's in a position where they don't feel like they could ever miss that shot. That's what we're witnessing tonight. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovers. Now he's got to be dealing with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finish at that time. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game. You know why, change? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Dillashaw gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Takes his back now. He's going for the two. He's worked, guys. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, big shot, man. Dillashaw's forehand is just leaking blood all over the octagon. I know for Daniel Cormier, this is very hard to watch. They might need to stop this fight. I think it's time to take a strong look if you're the referee in the ringside position. Huge fist being rained down by TJ Dillashaw. Oh, nice double leg, yes. All right, close guard now. Dillashaw gets back up. All right, so the referee has called a halt to the action here, likely to have the doctor come in and look at the swelling around that eye. Not good, DC. You cannot allow these fighters to dictate and determine whether or not they can go. When you have this type of swelling, you got to take a close look to see if the guy can compete. He's taking a close look. Going back to the referee. Looks as though he's going to allow the action to continue. Fans like that decision, but for the compromised fighter, maybe got to take some chances. He's going to take a lot of chances now because he's got to rush. He cannot be as patient as he is going to be with that amount of swing. Wow, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete? Right? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. 45 seconds remain in the round. Dillashaw going for the leg kick. He does not connect. All right, so we told you off the top, a well-rounded fighter would likely chase takedowns against the kick. Setting up a submission. Oh, that's getting deep. Looks tight to me. Somehow he gets out. We had the triangle choke locked in, but he did a good job of staying patient, maintaining his calmness, and found a way out. Great job defensively. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the core position locked in now. Oh, and there's the huh? horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, well, the cut man has got his work cut out for him, and I believe we have isolated the shot that caused that critical cut above the eye. I mean, right above the eye, John. Too many damaging blows. He's got to change something because now every time he gets hit above the eye, the blood will start to leak in his eye, making it almost impossible to fight. 
You ready to fight? You ready? Third yeah. round on the way. Oh man, head kick lands. All right, so Dillashaw's an absolute mess right now. There's blood everywhere. I'm not so sure they're not going to stop this fight. Right this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive blow to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Back in arm triangle. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, he's trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Look at him buck his bridge. Straighten that arm. Back into the direction that he was straightening the arm and get back to his knees. Great job. Oh, that looks tight to me. It looks like it might be locked in. Yeah, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's done. Oh, oh my God! Takes the judges out of it. Gets the finish. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 26 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, So it goes into the books as a submission win for Kai Kata France. He's a five-tool player. I mean, you've been saying it for years. He does everything well, and he goes the grappling route here tonight. He's done everything well, but he's never had to show this ability. He has struggled at times on the ground. By seeing him do what he did tonight, very encouraging if you're Team Kai Kata France.